Helicopter operators and flight crew involved in rescue hoist operations should review their operational practices to ensure hoist operation and hook stowage are in accordance with the manufacturer's published procedures. This advice comes as the ATSB published a final report into a rescue hoist cable failure when an AS350 B3 Squirrel Helicopters winch cable fractured at the hook assembly while under load during a cable conditioning maintenance operation near Bolga, New South Wales, on the 5th of February 2020. The helicopter had just been conducting personnel and equipment winching in support of bushfire operations just prior to the cable conditioning check. There was no damage to the helicopter or injuries to personnel. The ATSB investigation found that variations in the operator's hook stowage practices over an extended period of winching operations led to inadequate compression of the hook assembly and subsequent wear of the load cable. The wear damage was due to vibration and movement of the hook assembly during periods of helicopter operation. This led to a significant reduction in the cross-sectional area of the cable and an associated reduction in cable strength. It is likely that specific post-flight inspection requirements for the Breeze Eastern Rescue Hoist required in a Civil Aviation Safety Authority's Airworthiness Directive were not being adequately completed by the operator. The ATSB recommends that pre- and post-flight inspection requirements of the hook and cable assembly, along with any recurring scheduled maintenance of the hoist system, are closely reviewed to ensure that they are completed in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Improper stowage of the hoist hook assembly can lead to excessive movement and accelerated wear of the cable, which, if undetected, could have a fatal outcome. Should a load cable exhibit an increased frequency of outer strand loosening that requires a condition operation, operators should be particularly mindful to check for narrowing or necking of the cable at the ball end within the swivel hook assembly. Narrowing or necking of the cable can signify that the cable has become damaged due to extreme wear and may no longer be safe to use. The ATSB first highlighted this critical safety messaging in April 2020, approximately two months after the incident, when it published a safety advisory notice addressed to helicopter operators and flight crew involved in rescue hoist operations. The safety advisory notice can be found on the ATSB's website by searching AO-2020-013-SAN-001. Note that the you can also read the final report by searching AO-2020-013.